What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to capture screenshots and GIFs. And this is kind of an old trick, uh, but if you're new to the Galaxy S22 phone or you just forgot, and this will also work on older galaxies and other Galaxy phones and devices as well. So without further ado, let me show you what I am talking about. First of all, you need to turn on edge panels if you don't have it turned on already. So swipe down from the top so that you can click the gear in the top right. Next, you wanna go into display and then work your way down until you see edge panels. Click on that, turn it on. Then what you wanna do is click on panels right here and you have a bunch of panels you can choose from. There's um, apps and smart select, but the one you definitely want is smart select. That's where it is, but you can choose the other ones as well. You can even download some by going to the Galaxy Store. Once you have that turned on smart select, hit your home button. And from any screen that you're on, have it be the home screen or a, within an app or something, you can do what I'm gonna show you. So you're gonna see this little bar right here. It's a little kind of faded a little bit in mine. You might not be able to see it, but if you swipe over, it brings over this. Now I see my apps because I have two set up, but if I swipe again, this is where what I'm talking about shows up and the little trick that I am going to show you where it lies. So what you wanna do, is once you see this, we'll just go into an app. So maybe it looks a little something different here. And we'll go into the, uh, why don't we go into Unison, whatever this is. So we'll go in here, swipe over. And if I click rectangle, it's gonna allow me to take a screenshot really e easily. And I can go anywhere I want with it. Maybe I just want that. I can hit done, it'll take a screenshot. Can also go like this. Maybe I want it to be a little bit bigger. Maybe I want it to be just like this. And you're like, oh, you know what? That looks great and I'm gonna hit done. And then from there, I can, pin it or insert it into something. So if I press that, press that, now it's pinned. I can move it around if I want. I can tap it again. I can download it and save it. I can hit this button and it kind of goes away. It minimizes it. I hit the home button. You can see I'm gonna tap it again. It comes back, tap it again and exit out and it doesn't save it. So that's one way and one thing you can do. I'm gonna swipe over again. I'm gonna go into oval. Now I can take like an oval screenshot. I can make it bigger or smaller or kind of change the shape of it if I want to it, drag it around the, dis the display. And you know what, I'm like, you know what, maybe I just want that weather right there. There we go, I want it just like that, I'm gonna hit done. And if I'm done, I don't have to hit that, I can just hit this downward arrow or I can edit it and add text or share it, but I'm just gonna save it. And it saves to your image gallery, so if you open up your gallery app right here, here. Here it is in my gallery app and I can see it and looks great. Let's go back into here, swipe over from there and go into pin to screen. So this one is going to be kind of like what I showed you in the beginning. We'll show animation on a video, but we'll show this first. So we press this and I can drag around. Maybe I want it to be this right here. Maybe I want, uh, maybe I want this. Hit pin to screen and then wherever app I open, it's going to automatically sit there and I can hide it if I want, or I can, again, do whatever. I can open up YouTube and it stays there. I don't know why you'd want this. Maybe you'd want to take another screenshot so you have this sitting on top of it, but it's just a different thing you can do. You can tap on it like I showed you, download it, minimize it, or close it. Now the next one's if you want to create a GIF. Now you could do this with a video you're watching or maybe it's something on Instagram or whatever, something that's moving and you want to create your own GIF of it. So I'm going to go into one of my videos here. I'm gonna press and play, I guess. We'll just go to this one right here. It's playing, I can swipe over, animation. And what's nice is it goes right over, it actually went right to the video, which was cool. And I can change the quality if I want, I can make it standard or high quality. And I can hit record. So we're gonna hit record and it'll stop after you can see 15 seconds automatically, or I can stop it myself. I'll stop it after eight seconds. There you go. And then I have this, I can pin it just like I could on my screen. I can edit, edit it or share it or download it if I want. Maybe I wanna add a little bit of pizzazz here. Maybe I wanna add a, uh, an arrow or something pointing at my face. I can play it. And then when I'm done, I can save that or share it, whatever I want. Here it is inside of my gallery app. And there you go. That's a really easy way to create your own GIFs. 
So there you guys go. That is a cool little look at Smart Select and the many things that you can do with it. It's really, really handy. And it makes screenshots, I feel like, maybe a little bit easier, especially for people that have trouble, uh, you know, pressing the buttons on the side or doing the palm swipe or some other, some other thing that you can do to capture a screenshot. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And we'll see you down the road. Peace.